Now, the second thing that you should take care of is that this is another fault that I have, it, I have uh, uh, seen my colleagues doing it, is that the, uh, they stand, they don't know where to stand when they take the x-ray, assuming that you have used the uh, parallel technique, using the sensor holders, or you have used the uh, film holder, or you use your finger, I don't advise this, or the patients, then when you, when, you, when you stand next to the patient. See, one phenomena of the X-ray is that when X-ray photons or X-ray beam strikes any object, regardless of the type of the object, whether it was air, whether it was wood, whether it was concrete, plastic, or patient's tissues, it's going to ionize it, and ionizing, ionization will be followed by X-ray production. This means that the patient's head will, when it is struck by X-ray, it's going to uh, emit X-ray, which we call the scattered or the secondary radiation. Unfortunately, in the in the, from the patient said when x-ray is originating uh, we don't know where the, where the direction of the uh, x-ray it goes anyway uh, it's, it's, it's a stray radiation it's a scattered radiation so we should keep distance between us as a dentist and the patient has patient said and this distance uh, distance is at least Two meters in a radius around the patient's head. Two meters is the minimum safe distance that you can stand or you can keep between the patient's head in a radius and the uh, X-ray. Why two meters in particular? Because in this in this two meters, what you what is happening is that the scattered radiation. Hmm, will be lost, it will lose all its energy. So at a distance of 2 meters, you will not get any radiation. At a distance of 2 meters, you will get no radiation. So, if I'm going to take a, a, an x-ray for this patient, and I suppose I have used the uh, sensor holder, or the, the disposable one, I'll, I'll remove this because um, I'm, I'm working on a, a, on, a, 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 on a mannequin. So, if you're using a, a sensor holder, the disposable one, like this one, okay, and you ask the patient to do a, 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 an x ray for a central incision. So, what is. <coughs> excuse me. When you're going to do the x ray for the central incisor, okay, you, you're going to keep a distance of two meters. Now, if, if the, you don't have this space, what should you do? If this is the patient, I'm going to do the x-ray for the upper central incisor. Okay? This is the x-ray for the upper central incisor. Right? Most of us, when we do the x-ray, will stand in this area. And this is completely wrong. Why? Because the x-ray which is generated at the patient's head over here, it will strike the patient's tissue. And the patient's tissues will start to emit radiation in every direction. So if we're standing next to the patient or in front of the patient, huh, then we will uh, expose ourselves to unknown radiation. So uh, if, if either you go and keep, keep distance, two meters, or you stand in this manner. This area, this area in front of the patient where the x-ray is tracking, this area over here, if you stand in this area less than two meters, you will be exposed to scattered radiation. So where will you stand? You will stand, see, this is one, if this is 180 degrees from the x-ray beam, you will stand at this area of the patient. So behind the patient's uh, uh, head at an area 90 degree and 
between the 180 from the beam and 90 degrees to the beam. So you will start stand in this area. That is an, at an angle of 135 degrees. Okay? You are going to split this into, you are going to bisect this angle, see? And then you will stand here. So I will stand here if I'm doing a, a, an x-ray for the central incisor. Why? Because the x-ray scattered radiation which has generated in the patient's head will be absorbed in the patient's head. So this area, I am sure that all the scattered radiation that has resulted in the patient's head has been absorbed in the patient's head, and this is the safest area. 180, 90 degree to the beam, I'm going to stand here. If I'm going to stand here in front of the patient, I will be subjected to the scattered radiation. Here, I will be subjected to the scattered radiation at a 90 degree angle but I will stand at a 135 degree, that is 45, this is the 45 between 90 and 180.